Hi, I'm Matthew Alexander. I'm Susan Shreve. We will be reading excerpts from emails written by FBI personnel reported on the situation at Guantanamo. The emails are dated between October 2002 and July 2004. June 20th, 2003. Subject, survived the first week. Hello. Well, I've survived my first week at Gitmo. We've observed and provided observations and suggestions on seven or was it eight interviews in six days? Two yesterday and two the day before anyhow. Many of the interviewers have approached us for help, and in other cases we've asked if we could sit in to see new detainees, etc. And no one has said no yet. Seem to have been well received by most interviewers. Interesting differences between the interviewees as well as interview styles. And definitely areas where I feel we've contributed. We're still hearing about folks doing weird things like subjecting interviewees to strobe lights, etc., but have not seen anything of concern to date. Overheard a very loud non-bureau interview down the hall yesterday, but chose not to observe it. On the personal front, have seen two movies at the outdoor theater, Matrix Reloaded and Bruce Almighty. Definitely a must-see, censored. There's even a monkey scene in it for you. There was a bonfire beach party last Friday and a pool party on Saturday night. We have an offer to go sailing this Sunday. Not sure if going yet. Friday, June 30th, 2004. Subject, get oh, censored. Following a detainee interview exact date unknown while leaving the interview, interview building at Camp Delta at approximately 8.30 p.m. or later, I heard and observed in the hallway loud music and flashes of light. I walked from the hallway into the open door of a monitoring room to see what was going on. From the monitoring room, I looked inside the adjacent interview room. At that time, I saw another detainee sitting on the floor of the interview room with an Israeli flag draped around him, loud music being played and a strobe light flashing. I left the monitoring room immediately after seeing this activity. I did not see any other persons inside the interview room with the Israeli flag draped detainee, but suspect that this was a practice used by the DOD DHS since the only other persons inside the hallway near this particular interview room were dressed in green military fatigues. I understood prior to deployment to Gitmo that such techniques were not allowed nor approved by FBI policy. Monday, May 10th, 2004. Subject, instructions to Gitmo interrogators. TJ, we did advise each supervisor that went to Gitmo to stay in line with Bureau policy and not deviate from that censored. We had also met with Generals Dunleavy and Miller explaining our position, law enforcement techniques versus DOD. Both agreed the Bureau has their way of doing business and DOD has their marching orders from the SECDEF. In my weekly meetings with DOJ, we often discussed censored techniques and how they were not effective or producing intel that was reliable. One specific example was censored. Once the Bureau provided DOD with the findings censored, they wanted to pursue expeditiously their methods to get more out of him. Censored. We were given a so-called deadline to use our traditional methods. Once our timeline censored was up, censored took the reins. We stepped out of the picture and censored ran the operation. FBI did not participate at the direction of myself, censored, and BAUUC censored. Bottom line is FBI personnel have not been involved in any methods of interrogation that deviate from our policy. The specific guidance we have given has always been no Miranda, Otherwise, follow FBI DOJ policy just as you would in your field office. Use common sense. Utilize our methods that are proven. Saturday, October 26, 2002. Subject, Gitmo update. Hello, all. Censored is gone, and I am here. Censored, you made quite an impression and le have left big shoes to fill. First impressions. It is hot here. I brought too much luggage. The learning curve is vertical. The more you read about Islam and our friends here, the better off you will be once you get here. 
many different agendas here, and you will have to use all of your behavioral skills to pull it all together and keep your finger on the pulse. No one will lead you by the hand. Did I mention that it is hot here? Later. Monday, July 12, 2004, subject Gitmo. Mr. Censored. I'm responding to your request for feedback on aggressive treatment and improper interview techniques used on detainees at Gitmo. I did observe treatment that was not only aggressive, but personally very upsetting, although I can't say that this treatment was perpetrated by bureau employees. It seemed that these techniques were being employed by the military, government contract employees, and censored. Friday, December 5th, 2003. Subject, impersonating FBI at Gitmo. I am forwarding this EC up the CTD chain of command. MLDU requested this information be documented to protect the FBI. MLDU has had long-standing and documented position against the use of some of DOD's interrogation practices. However, we were not aware of these latest techniques until recently. Of concern, DOD interrogators impersonating supervisory special agents of the FBI told a detainee that censored. These same interrogation teams then censored. The detainee was t also told by this interrogation team, censored. These tactics have produced no intelligence of a threat neutralization nature to date, and CITF believes that techniques have destroyed any chance of pro prosecuting this detainee. If this detainee is released or his story made public in any way, DOD interrogators will not be held accountable because these torture techniques were done by the FBI interrogators. The FBI will be left holding the bag before the public. 